Hey guys, um, just wanted to make a quick video about uh, a certain topic, a certain type of exercise that I like doing every now and then, and uh, basically that's just walking. Um, so first of all, I'm filming in my kitchen. Sorry about that. I really don't have a lot of places I can film right now. Um, the reason I haven't made a video in a long time, I think it's been about six months. Uh, my house caught fire, uh, struck by lightning. Long story short, I am in a rental home for the better part of a year almost um, until the house gets fixed. Um, so I've been kind of busy with that and moving and other career opportunities have also come my way and um, I'm busy with work and my house. Um, that being said, I'm still working out. I don't put that to the side just because I'm busy with other things. Uh, the only thing I do put to the side is making videos because I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to say I don't have a time, really. I think it's just because I, I don't, um, I guess I, just, I lose interest in doing it, and I don't have that much of a following anyway. But anyway, um, mainly just wanted to talk about walking. And if you saw my little video on Instagram, then maybe you came here from Instagram, and if you did, thank you. Or maybe you just found this through YouTube. Either way, thanks. I um, just want to talk about some of the benefits. I briefly mentioned it on Instagram. Uh, the first benefit I wanted to talk about is the fact that you can get a tan, um, depending on where you live, if the sun is out. Um, now, you might not be able to tell right now, but I wore this tank top and I walked for two and a half miles, which was roughly 45 minutes for me. Um, I think you can kind of tell right here there's a difference. Um, but I don't go out in the sun as much as I would like to. I don't know why I don't. I, I enjoy being outside, but I just, I don't. Um, but just being outside for like 45 minutes, you can tell there's a difference here now, and there was not prior to walking. So the first benefit is getting a tan. If you like getting a tan, if that's something you're interested in, then walking is definitely something you should consider, uh, given that it's easy to do. Second thing I want to mention is that it is a type of meditation. Um, it has both physical and mental benefits. Um, at, anytime I go to walk, I it, it helps me thought out or sort out any thoughts that I have, whether you know negative or positive things that are going on in my life. It gives me almost a chance to breathe. It's almost like yoga in a way. Um, but for me, I prefer walking over yoga. They're both good, but I think walking, especially for long distances, um, or even just a long time, you know, 30 plus minutes, it just helps me get things sorted out in my mind. And it really helps me slow things down, like slow life down. Um, especially when you have a million things coming at you at once, you can go for a long walk and it kind of helps you really just ponder things that have been happening in your life. And for me, that's probably my favorite part about walking. My dog is barking. I don't know if you heard him. Anyway, um, the third benefit is physical. It is also a physical form of exercise. Uh, now, depending on who you are, how fast you walk, the weather you walk in, whether or not you have some sort of weight vest on you, um, you might not get that great of a benefit in terms of cardio. Um, you know, your heart rate, really how how high your heart rate is determines your, the cardio benefit that you're going to get and obviously your respiration levels um, but for walking at least for me my heart rate tends to stay pretty low um, it, it raises it might rise to about 110 maybe a little higher um, in the most intense parts uh, but unless i'm running my heart rate stays generally pretty low um, even in the hot florida sun like right now it's it's not too bad actually right now it's about 80 degrees but it's pretty humid the sun's out um, so usually when it's hotter out, my heart rate does increase a little bit more, but for, for walking, it stays pretty low. Um, but it is still a benefit and it is still something I recommend you doing, especially if you don't like running or uh, you, you can't run for whatever reason. Um, or just if you just don't want to do any type of cardio, this is something that you can do that is pretty easy um, and it is fun. Now with that, there's also the fact that uh, walking is uh, low impact. Now there are other types of low impact cardio, like um, you know rowing or you know something like that, but um, walking requires pretty much nothing except well you don't even need shoes. Uh, you just need clothes to walk outside so you don't get arrested. If you're you know if you're walking around naked, you might get arrested. So all you need is really really clothes, um, and you can go outside and go for a walk, and that's that's pretty easy. It's easy, it's free, or at least it's very very cheap, and uh, it's low impact. So that's something I like doing. Now I, I do like running. I do enjoy running, but it gets to a point for me personally where it just gets too hot. I really just don't feel like running. Um, I mean, that's, that's really just an excuse, but for me, I don't mind supplementing walking for running. 
um, especially if I'm going to walk a long distance or if I'm rucking, if I'm just putting weight on my back, I'll do that too. Um, and also I, I tend to do high, high volume calisthenics where my heart rate goes up to 140, 150, 160 even um, for pretty much the whole duration duration of the workout. And for me, that's pretty much cardio, especially when my workouts range from like 30 minutes to an hour and it stays around 140, 150. I'd say that's cardio. Um, you don't have to agree, that's okay. But um, either way, I don't like running all the time and uh, supplementing that or, or what's the word? trading that with um, walking is, is something I don't mind doing, especially because it, it is low impact. And I always, I tend to have issues with running um, specifically for my shins every, every time I get back into running after like a month or two of running um, even if I only run twice or three times a week, I get, I get injured really fast. I don't know why that happens. I don't know what it is. I don't increase my mileage too much, but either way, I'm getting off topic now. Just wanted to continue talking about running. Well, let's go over the benefits again. Uh, when there's tanning, you can tan depending on your weather. Um, there's also the meditation aspect so that mental health that's there that can help you. Um, uh, and then there's the physical health, uh, the physical meaning one, it can be cardio. Also it's low impact and it is pretty cheap. Um, so that's pretty much the gist of it. Walking, people tend to overcomplicate exercise all the time. To me, walking is just so simple, it's so easy. It's, it's something that humans have always done. It's just a part of our nature. Um, same with you know calisthenics and running and all this other body weight stuff. It's just something that, as humans, we should be able to do for a long distance, a long period of time, and the fact that a lot of people cannot walk um, because of, you know, being overweight or whatever, uh, it, it's just sad to me because walking is supposed to be very, very simple. Now, obviously, if you have some sort of physical defect where you can't walk or you have broken legs or, you know, something like that, obviously that, you know, I understand. But if you are physically able to at one point in your life and you now, because of lack of exercise, you find it hard to walk a mile, I really recommend that you try it. Try to get back into it, ease into it, go slow, you know, walk a few minutes at a time, um, maybe a quarter mile a day, something like that. And um, in no time, you'll find that it's actually pretty fun and pretty easy to get back into it. So please try it, even if you're good at running, try walking one day. Just try going for a couple miles of a walk. Walk for 30 minutes, walk for an hour. Uh, today I did a, about a 45 minute walk and that was two and a half miles. Normally that'd take me about 50 minutes, um, but I walked a little bit faster today. I like to try and keep my, my walking pace around 18 to 19 minutes, uh, but 20 minutes is a good, you know, slow kind of moderate pace to uh, strive for. But, um, you know, do whatever's comfortable for you. So that's pretty much all I got in this video. Um, I know it's nothing too crazy. Sorry, uh, I don't really have a idea for a topic right now, but I have wanted to make a video on, on walking for a while. And, you know, I finally have been able to just kind of relax and, you know, after I just went for a walk, I have all these ideas in my mind, so now I'm able to make this video. So that's all I got. Thanks for watching. If you're still subscribed, I appreciate that. Um, and we'll have more videos in the future. I, I can't tell you when, um, but I will have more videos. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. Peace out.